take a look at this image. A little girl, broken arm. Do you feel compassionate towards her? I bet you do. Now, I want you to take a look at this image. Do you feel compassionate towards him? Well, clearly he's distraught. Maybe he got fired or a deal fell through, but I bet it was a lot harder to feel compassionate towards him. Don't you find it strange that you can actually easily feel compassion towards one person and not the other? Or have you ever been in really difficult situations where you actually wish you could have been more compassionate? Well, it turns out compassion is like a muscle in the brain. You can train it, make it stronger, and made more available in times of need. Cutting edge MRI studies have actually revealed that a simple visualization technique can strengthen your compassion muscle. And you can do it right from your couch without breaking a sweat. Let's give it a try. I want you to find a comfortable seat. Now close your eyes and picture an image of yourself. You're happy, smiling, well cared for. Now I want you to picture someone who you love and know very well. And they're feeling the same way. They're smiling, happy. Then picture someone you like, but you don't know so well. Perhaps a neighbor? They're happy, smiling, and well cared for. Now here's the most important part of the visualization. Picture a total stranger, someone you'd see in the streets, and they're smiling, happy, well cared for. Picture everyone in your city, your country, or the entire Earth as if you're an astronaut floating above and you're watching down and everyone is happy, smiling, and well cared for. Now you can open your eyes. That's it. One simple visualization technique to beef up your compassion muscle. Studies have showed that by practicing visualization techniques like this one, just 10 minutes a day, three days a week, can increase levels of oxytocin in your brain. Oxytocin is a neurochemical associated with trust, nurturing behavior, and of course, compassion. Another way you can practice your compassion is by mimicking the behavior of others. This is called the mirroring effect. When you see someone cry, let yourself cry. You're gonna feel more connected and empathy towards others. Now that you know how to exercise compassion, teach your friends and family and make them aware of its very real benefits.